Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to customize WooCommerce checkout page with Shop Engine. I've already installed Shop Engine in my dashboard, so I'll just go to the builder templates and add a new template. Today I'm going to show you how to replicate one of our pre-made templates from scratch. So the first thing that you need to do is to change the template from default template to Elementor Canvas. So as I've updated the settings now, let's move on to the next steps. Now we are going to add a new section and then add a new headline. From here you can change the title, add links, change the size, change the alignment and edit it in any way you want. From the style section, you can change the color, the typography, and many more. So let's move on to the next step and add a new section to add Shop Engine's checkout form view. You can edit this form in any way you want. What I'm gonna do is change the typography, that is the font, to Arial. So now I'm going to disable the default font title and add a new one manually. Let's move on to the next step to add checkout order review by Shop Engine. I've already added a product and updated the prices from WooCommerce. So if you haven't done it yet, get it done by now before you add checkout order review here. As this is a replication video, so I'll be keeping everything as it is in the template. You can edit or customize in any way you want. So I'm done editing the title. Now I will add the checkout payment. I have added two different payment gateways. 
direct bank transfer and cash on delivery but you can add any other payment gateways if you want to for example paypal you have to use woocommerce to add the payment gateways we are almost in the last part of the video and now i'll be adding the checkout shipping methods you can simply just drag and drop it i have added two different shipping methods that is local pickup and free shipping If you have any other requirement, you can add a different shipping method as well. You can customize it in any way you want, but what I'll be doing next is separating the shipping and the payment by adding a heading in between. So let's change the color and font size of the heading. So finally, I'll show how you can edit or customize the CDR button. So I'll be changing the normal background color to blue and the hover background color to black. Let's change the font sizes a bit. So lastly, I've added an inner section and as you can see, it's written secured by McAfee and Lord. Now we are finally done with the replication video. Now here you can preview the changes. I hope the video was helpful, if you have any questions please ask in the comment section below.